There are books whose covers are works of art. Yeah, we're not talking about those books today. Nothing gets me more err than to read a book that I fall head over heels in love with, but finish it knowing that this book will never get the respect or the reading numbers it deserves because it has been shackled to a god-awful travesty of a cover. Let's look at a couple examples. In the sci-fi romance category, we have Accidental Goddess by Linnea Sinclair. Granted, the first chapter of this book makes absolutely no sense, but if you persevere to the second chapter, this is a charming little piece of sci-fi romance about a space captain who accidentally jumps through time just to wake up and find out that in the intervening time she's been made into a goddess. Okay, so not high literature, but kinda adorable and I really enjoyed it. Except, here is the cover. Let's ignore the guy at the bottom who looks straight from the 70s, though this book was published in 2005. But let's ignore him because really all you can focus on in this picture is the glowing orb of Go-Go Dancer in the middle. I don't know what futuristic special forces will be issuing in the way of clothing and or uniforms, but this really seems like the worst idea ever. One, shiny pink is hardly camouflage unless your planet is made up of shiny pink dirt, I guess. Two, she doesn't look like she's getting a lot of support up there, you know, for the running or other strenuous special forces activities. So our artist puts her in the most impractical costume ever and then poses her, I don't even know, what is that hand doing? Something is very wrong with that hand starting at the wrist. She's obviously shooting someone with her shooty sword wand of doom, whilst simultaneously waving her left hand, which may or may not be broken, in the air. I can only assume she's leading some sort of futuristic special forces training exercise slash jazzercise class? Who knows, maybe the far future has a nostalgic yearning for the worst popular trends of the 20th century? Okay, but that's sci-fi romance. A publisher showing blatant disrespect for a romance novel is hardly <laughs> novel. Let's look at some more traditional sci-fi. Blade Dancer by S.L. Ville is a 2004 sci-fi novel about half-human, half-alien offspring and the xenophobia they face. It reads a little bit like Ender's Game and a little bit like Futurama, strangely enough. I loved it, but I remain utterly confused by the cover. It looks like this was a bad photograph from like the early 90s. Scene. School organized Halloween party. You've come with your older sister who has dressed up as a biker babe slash axe murderer. She even borrowed your little brother's fake plastic blades. The school has hired a middle-aged photographer who considers himself an artiste. Really, he lives in his mother's basement. He's taking pictures in front of a really bad fake backdrop. Your sister doesn't want to have her picture taken, but her friends egg her on till she does it. She poses, but is too embarrassed to really commit to the pose. A quick snap is taken. My point is, this is a drawing. You could just draw her in a more dynamic pose. It just doesn't make any sense. 